Man, if only I was a girl, it would be so much easier for me to grow my Twitch account. How many times have you guys heard that one? What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about whether or not it's actually easier for women to be successful on Twitch and other similar streaming platforms. Now, I want to talk about um, a couple of different things in this video. Um, one thing that I should note is that there aren't that many uh, credible studies that have been done within the last, I would say, two years on this topic, which is unfortunate. Um, but I do have some relevant data here that I've pulled up from uh, 2015, 2016, 2017, and a little bit of 2018. Uh, and I also want to cover a couple of different metrics with which we can gauge success because everybody would, you know, uh, gauge success differently. Some people could say, well, it's based on the number of subscribers or how much money you make, or maybe your concurrent viewership or your follower count or how easy it is to get to a certain follower count or something along those lines. So I want to cover a lot of different uh, data points here in this video. Uh, and before I move any further, I do want to just say that I will post links in the description of all of the different studies and uh, web pages that I'm getting this data from. So that way you guys know where this information is coming from. And if I say something that I think is my own opinion, then I for sure will preface it with saying that it's my opinion. Now, the first article that I'm going to be talking about is actually titled, Do Women Have It Easier on Twitch? It was posted by Stream Hatchet on the website toward uh, towardsdatascience.com. Uh, and I wanted to just kind of pull a couple of key uh, uh, data points from this article because I think, you know, you guys probably would agree with me when I say that most people have the uh, assumption that it's e easier for women to be successful on Twitch or at the very least that it's easier for women to grow on Twitch, right? Because uh, everyone had, there's this stigma about, um, women streamers who like to you know wear revealing cl clothing or do uh you know semi you know provocative things on stream um and you know that's kind of how most women are painted on twitch i mean if you guys want to do a quick google search just type in um twitch uh, girl twitch streamers just do that on google and you'll see a lot of the stereotypes pop up immediately through um youtube thumbnails and things like that like that's kind of the stigma that women have is that you know women are successful on twitch because they are revealing or somewhat sexual or something like that um and i think what's interesting is that a lot of the data um it suggests otherwise which is crazy to me um because this is just the clear evidence of a bias at this point so um a couple of the key points from this article if you guys don't feel like reading the whole thing uh, essentially what they did for a lot of this article is um and again this is from august of 2017 so this is not uh it's not recent this was i think right before fortnite exploded um so i think that kind of skews it a little bit i think some female streamers did find some success with fortnite i mean you can look at pokemon of course but uh i want to talk about some of the things that we that we see in this article um so what they did is they took the top 500 channels uh with the most watch hours and what's interesting is 3.2 percent of uh, all those watch hours were women which means that only 16 out of the top 500 channels uh with the most watch hours were women which is insane i mean that's less than five percent of the top 500 is women and i think um that's probably similar to what we see now if you go to social blade you can actually search by the um mo the top five most popular twitch streamers uh, and what you'll find is that you, if you go through a lot of them are uh, not women there are very few women in the top 500 and even fewer women in the top 50 so right off the bat we see a massive bias towards men but let's keep going uh the next one is uh they took the top 500 channels with the highest average viewer count and what's interesting is that this is actually even lower um only 14 women out of the 500 highest uh average viewer channels were women so that's 2.8 percent which is insanely low that goes completely against what our assumption would be would be that you know if women are really beautiful and people only watch them because they're beautiful then there would be more women with a lot of average viewers because people want to look at how gorgeous they are and that just is not the case the next thing that they looked at was the top 500 twitch channels with the most followers um and here we see women do a little bit better still kind of scary um only 53 of the top 500 channels were women so that's what uh, a little more than 10 percent so definitely better than the past few metrics so that goes to show that hey maybe maybe women get followers a little bit easier um but it doesn't convert to um 
more average viewers or more watch hours now there was a gender infographic uh, pdf posted from a 2015 study that showed that men stream on average four to five times more than women so that is interesting it does look like um, men do stream for more hours now of course there might be more men on the platform so that could be it um, but another thing that I want to talk about is actually uh, uh, research that was done by Indiana University in November of 2016 um, and what it did was it actually uh, highlighted the highest chat phrases for popular women streamers so they took it a, a bunch of popular men and women streamers uh, and when you look at the most popular phrases for women they are as follows uh, boobs tits cosplay show so probably show boobs <laughs> um, bitch and pussy so those were some of the most popular phrases that women were seeing in their chat if they were a popular female streamer uh, and there were no uh, similar phrases for men right you don't see a lot of men having people say show penis in in, in chat right that's just not the thing that's not the case so um, what's interesting here is that women clearly have a far more toxic uh, uh, chat than men so imagine how frustrating it would be to be a female gamer who's really passionate about a game and you jump on to you know stream uh, your favorite video game and instead of people coming and you know supporting your gameplay or you know appreciating how good you are at the game uh, instead they just type show tits in the chat and unfortunately that is that is uh, that is the reality for for female streamers and and it's shown by this data that it's it's just far more common for women to have toxic chats and uh toxic viewers um and, and that, i think that leads to a decrease in them in the number of women that would even want to stream on a, a platform like twitch anyway you know because how long are you going to stream um on twitch when all you're getting or a lot of what you're receiving in chat is you know toxic people asking to see parts of your body like you know you're just trying to enjoy call of duty or something and and now you just every couple of minutes you get some random dude coming in tell, telling you how beautiful you are and that he wants to see you naked like you, you're not going to do it for very long and i think you know it's difficult for women um it might be difficult i don't know i'm obviously not a woman but it might be difficult for some women to overcome that like it might just be you know after a while you just kind of get sick of dealing with that right like you just get sick of doing it and it's just not worth it now another uh, piece of information that i thought was pretty interesting and noteworthy um from that 2015 study again i will link it down below it's from it's the opg.tv link and this one is actually in favor of women so um one of the myths uh, is that women get more page views and more followers than men which is something that i touched on uh, uh just a couple of minutes ago talking about you know 53 of the top 500 um uh, fo followed channels were women so they actually are doing better in the follower department than any other however obviously still being uh, far uh, outclassed by men but um so the myth is that women would actually get more page views and followers presumably because you know they are a girl gamer so maybe they are pretty or attractive or something so they're more likely some, someone's more likely to actually click on their stream just to see you know a pretty girl essentially um and this myth is actually a uh, partially confirmed and I, I, I'm just gonna actually read what the infographic said because um, it's difficult for me to like I'm not gonna go through the effort of trying to reword this because it's relatively it's a complicated piece of data so um, this is it's partially confirmed that women get more paid views and followers than men um, at first glance and the, here I'm quoting at first glance what you would see is that men get dramatically more page views and followers per day when compared to women but that isn't the whole story it was decided to focus on per streaming hour instead of overall so like i said before men stream four to five times more than women so of course men are going to get more page views and followers because they're strictly on the platform four to five times more which is insane so if you account for that difference right so if we say if it's a level playing field per hour of streaming that brought the numbers a bit more even and additionally uh they decided to focus on growth so how is your channel doing per hour versus your past self per hour and when you compare those percentages and with those adjustments women get almost double the page views and triple the followers for their size and hourly ratio 
versus the average male streamer so that's that's i think making those adjustments make sense of course if they're if men are streaming four to five times more you want to adjust for that because clearly that's a that's going to skew the data set in their favor regardless of how well women are doing on their own uh, and also growing in terms of how many page views are you getting versus your previous self and how many followers are you getting versus your previous self i think that's also a, a good thing to keep in mind comparing you know if you're comparing and contrasting men versus women you kind of want to see how is a woman doing over time not versus men but versus just herself as a channel and i think making those adjustments makes a lot of sense to me um so it is pretty true that you know just by being a woman uh it does seem that maybe they do get more page views and follows um strictly for being female right I mean that seems to be the case when you make those adjustments and I think again that makes sense the hypothesis being that um you know if a female or a girl streamer is is pretty or attractive or whatever um it's likely that you know someone's gonna see the thumbnail and be like oh she's cute and they're gonna click on it just instinctively just to see like oh like is she actually really cute so that makes sense to me and of course if they have Streamlabs up or something like that and you follow them now you're actually able to interact with that cute girl that you see on twitch so it makes sense to me um that this data would be skewed in favor of women um but you know that's not really the painting the, the whole story so while it looks like women do better in these uh, metrics in terms of um follows and page views per hour versus their past streaming self um, women actually don't grow faster than men uh, and, and growth in terms of concurrent viewer growth so that's how many people uh, actually stay stick around and watch multiple streams of yours um, concurrent viewer growth is actually where women struggle the most when they're trying to grow on twitch um, men's concurrent viewer growth is uh, 10 times easier than women it's actually 10 times easier or 10 times more likely for men to get a concurrent viewer than it is for a woman which is really depressing because essentially what that means is that men are clicking on their streams right and they're seeing that they're pretty and they're getting more page views per hour and they're also getting more follows per hour because these men think that they're cute and they're going to follow them but while that does translate to more page views and more followers what it also means is that these guys don't actually really care about them as a streamer they're not following them because they actually want to follow them uh they're following them just for the interaction or just because they're cute so they click follow um and they don't ever come back to a future stream which is really really unfortunate because again that's a very surface level it's a very shallow metric which is really really sad now one of the last things i want to talk about is money right so maybe it could be the case uh that women get donations more often than men right that could be the case um so i was curious to know like do women make more money do they get more donations than men uh and there's actually a recent study this study was done in uh, june it was posted june 1st 2018 so it's about a year old at this point which is good because that's relatively recent um and this is on the nextweb.com so again i'll link this in the description below um but, but this study was actually done by paypal so a reputable source and also really the only uh, place that could tell you this type of thing aside from maybe Streamlabs or twitch themselves um, so what we see here is they studied uh, 25,000 participants in 25 uh, different countries and what we see is that women actually get less money than men which is which is really interesting um, and it depends on country too so that's also uh, a noteworthy point so let's take a look at some of these numbers and again I'm looking directly at so if you see me looking over here I'm looking directly at the article so I don't misspeak now if we look at the entire data set um, across all 25 countries it showed that 43 percent of female streamers report that they weren't paid for their content that they're creating on twitch so by streaming uh and 38 percent of men also reporting the same so those numbers are pretty close like they're within five percent of one another clearly five percent is not negligible but they're still pretty close um but if you if you actually look at specific countries what we'll see uh is that if you look at american streamers so females and men that are streaming uh in america uh, 43 i'm sorry 47 percent of female streamers in the u.s say that they are nothing for their work compared to only 24 percent of men which is really interesting i i actually i have a hard time believing that i have a hard time believing that only 24 percent of men don't make money streaming like i think most people who stream uh don't uh make anything but again this is only taking um uh 25,000 streamers and of course there's millions of people on twitch so it's hard to really gauge this specifically um but 25,000 
people is a significant number that's a decent data set to be working with especially in in a recent study um done by a reputable place like like paypal and if we look also at uh, canadian streamers 61 percent of women uh say they don't get paid whereas 38 percent of men say that they don't get paid for streaming content so again really interesting stuff here um i don't know what why why it would be the case that americans um american men earn more on average than women at, compared to the global global average i don't really understand that um maybe they their data set of twenty five thousand people uh w was mostly global and they didn't get that many americans i'm not really sure or north americans should i say because we have to look at canada as well but um yeah it's really interesting to look at some of this data and again a lot of this stuff is from a couple of years ago and i think that you know there's a lot of women in the fortnite scene that kind of got a little bit more popular but again if you look at social blade that's not really the picture that's being painted a majority of the top 500 streamers are men which is absolutely crazy um so i've been trying to wrap my head around this and it's unfortunate because it seems like the whole you know oh women grow faster on twitch or women have it easier on twitch or you know women make easy money on twitch that's really not the case um every single metric here shows that the deck is stacked against women um besides the fact that it's easier for them to get page views and follows which we've already established doesn't necessarily turn into concurrent viewership anyway so that's really uh it's disheartening to find out this information i don't know what can be done about this this is a clear bias um and I, it's a subconscious bias and it's nobody's fault it's not like twitch's fault and they're they're promoting mostly men like that's not the case i don't think so i don't think that that would be the case it just so happens to be the case that men are are actually seeing more success on twitch especially at the very top and i don't know why this is uh it might be because a lot of twitch's demographic is men and when we think about you know maybe young uh, middle school or um, high school aged guys like yeah they find girls attractive but they're not going to twitch to see attractive women they're going to twitch to see ninja absolutely shred in Fortnite or something like that that's probably why um, you know we're seeing this this skew in data which is really interesting I don't really uh, know what to make of it I don't have any solutions for this problem hey this is Omniarch from the future I'm actually going through editing this video right now and I did think of one thing that we could do and one suggestion would be stop objectifying women on twitch like that's a pretty straightforward thing right like if you're watching this video and you have in the past then then let's try not doing that ever again uh because it's not funny and obviously it's annoying so that's the best thing that i can think of is like now that we've acknowledged this this bias let's stop being uh, annoying about it right like let's let's just take it upon ourselves to not ever be a part of the problem but i wanted to make this video because I actually it's kind of getting annoying uh seeing the stigma on like twitter and in my own twitch chat you know people saying like oh it would be easier to grow as a woman it's not true i'm actually I, i'm embarrassed a little bit because like I, like I said imagine how frustrating it would be to play a game and only have people in chat telling you to show your your breasts like it, that would be super frustrating for me especially if it's a game i'm passionate about so i don't know what to say support your favorite female streamer i guess um and, and that's pretty much it guys so if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a comment down below telling me what you think about this information um this is actual research data so it's hard to say that it's wrong um other than the fact that it's a, it's a little bit outdated but I, again i don't think it's that i don't think the stigma has changed very much in the last couple of years um so let me know in the comment section below what you think about this drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed this video um also subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and click the bell if you want to be notified anytime that i upload in the future if not that's totally cool i totally get that just make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter in the links in the description below so you get updates anytime that i upload i also post memes and funny things on those platforms as well finally i'm gonna promote my own twitch channel because i have been streaming a lot lately i have recently reached twitch affiliate which i'm really happy about i've got emotes and everything which is really cool so if you want to check one of my streams out go down to the link in the, in the description click my uh my twitch link and follow me over there um and i will hopefully catch you guys either in the next video or my next stream and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace